Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1748 in Candy Crush Saga, where now we have 25 moves to clear out 132 layers of jelly. And this is a special dedication to Joy, who let me know that they have changed this level and that the changes have her stuck. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, and if you do find these videos helpful, I would appreciate if you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now, when I first started the board, things flowed this way. It is possible that on some versions of this, let's say I don't beat it the first try, which is likely because it's a nightmarishly hard level and it's got joy stuck. So if I don't get it the first time and I come back and redo the level without the microphone, it's possible that as things slide out, they might actually connect things together and clear some things out or even maybe make a special on the board. And so if you see that, it's natural when things flow in that sometimes those occur. All right, so let's see what we need to do here. This frosting is blocking our way to get down here. We've got ticking time bombs set at 18. Most important rule, don't get dead. So we need to figure out how to get through here. And we've got a conveyor belt, so we're gonna have to deal with that. It looks like it's gonna wrap all the way around because this portal looks like it matches to this portal and this matches to this. So I'm gonna go for some cascading in the beginning. I'm gonna take out purple, which is gonna take out orange. It's gonna bring something else between. And then if it's red, the next thing that comes over, it'll match red, red, red. Now, only a 20% chance it will because we have five colors on the board but it's better than a 0% chance. Let's just see what we can do by making chaos. Oh, look at that, and actually it's flowing this way, so it'll take out this as it goes one more, if I don't take out any of these three key players. And I actually don't think I can. Let's do this. I know it wants me to make moves down here, but if I do this, things might slide out this way, but it's not gonna populate through here. It's not gonna populate these areas until we get rid of this frosting. And now look what I can do. I can put the purple together, which doesn't look great in the beginning, but remember that I will get the conveyor belt. So I'll bring this red down. When the conveyor belt goes, it'll reposition it. So this red will be here, this red will be here, and this red will be here, and we'll take out a layer, right? That's how it should go, and there it is. I'd kind of like to leave the orange alone to try to build it up. Oh, let's do this. Oh, well, that was kind of a mistake. All right, and now a stripe. Stripes are always handy on the board, even if they don't help us with this mission. They are clearing things out and getting rid of some of those dangerous ticking time bombs. I can do this move or I can do this move. If I do this move, the conveyor belt is going to bring this orange here and this orange here. I should still be able to do this. If I do this move, then the conveyor belt should put a green here and a green here I don't know that I'd be able to do this. So let's do this and then we'll do, I wanna, even though it's a good move, I wanna double check and make sure I'm not missing something incredible. Then we do this and then we have nothing good over here. And these are ticking down fast. I could do this, it gets rid of purple. It gets rid of some of the jelly. That's why I'm going to do it. I didn't have really a better move. But I like this idea of bringing the green down together. There we go. I know that's not a great stripe for where we are, but we can try to make it great. Now I have a decision. Do I do this, which hits this? Do I do a wrapped candy here or a wrapped candy here? I'm going to do this wrapped candy. Oh, stink, I wasn't able to, oh, well that's good. So say I wasn't able to bring it down to do a double hit, but it created its own. Sometimes the key is just to make chaos. I can make a stripe here, and I really like that. I could bust through here. I'm going to do the stripe, and here's why. No matter what happens, I need to get down here and help these guys, and maybe that stripe will help. I can do this to take one out immediately. I can do a wrapped. I'm going to do a wrapped, and I'm going to try to do a striped wrapped combo to take things out, there goes that stripe that I thought might be handy, and to take this junk out. Yeah, see, I'm gonna get dead, and I don't know that there's any answer to that right now on this board. It took me so long to break through, 
And when all of these flash at once, they give me a bit of a headache. So if I get to that point again, oh my goodness, my microphone is way over on the other side of the desk. <laughs> How did that get moved? Um, yeah, sorry if the volume changed on you suddenly. I just pulled it towards me. So anyway, uh, yeah, I have to not get dead. So I have to break through there even more quickly. And I think I'm going to have to use some specials to do that. And once I get through, I'm going to have to really attack those ticking time bombs. And on the backswing, I'll be taking out the jelly. The only reason I went for taking out jelly here is I really just couldn't see any better move on the board. Uh, but I'm going to look more carefully and evaluate everything. Let's go ahead and try this one more time before I turn off the microphone and play in solitude because, oh, look at that. I really want to get through here more quickly and show that at least it can be done. Now, I can't really use this where it is. I don't have anything to set it up with. So I'm going to hope to wait until it gets over here to deploy it. I can make a stripe this way, or I can take out something immediately with the red right here. And that's a tough decision for me. I'm going to try to break through quickly, quickly. Oh, now I can make a stripe that way, but I'm going to go this way. We're getting close. I want to hold off and I over here, and I think I can. Because I think what's going to happen is the conveyor belt is going to take this over here and this over here. Still not where I need it. And then the next move, this will be here, and this will be here. And then I'll be able to put the purple stripe together, which will hit the purple wrapped, which will really explode through this. That's the plan. Now, admittedly, I'm not great at um, knowing what's going to happen with conveyor belts, and so I may have misjudged all of that. But I'm hopeful. I can make a stripe here, or I can hit this directly. I'm going to hit this directly. Okay, this is getting closer. I can make this move, I can make this move, I can make this move. And it's not that I don't like this move. I'm just hoping to bring more orange down here and maybe make a stripe as I put things together. That's why I'm preserving this. So I'm going to do this move to bring the orange together, see what'll happen. And then this. And even if I have something good somewhere else, I can't imagine it beating this opportunity. This brings me down through more quickly like I had hoped. And remember, I got a little bit of luck there in the beginning. I was able to make that wrapped candy. But then what you have to do on these nightmarishly hard levels is you always have to try to pair the luck with strategy. So I set up the orange so I can break through here. There we go. And now I don't have any additional orange here. Do I take a beat and make a wrapped? On most boards, I would. On this board, no. I don't want to get dead, so I have to start working at taking out the time bombs. And I need every move possible. Yikes, I need to make some special here. Oh, hold on. Well, I can put the orange together. I need to make a special here that will translate to here because I'm kind of stuck over here. So let's see if I can create something. Eh, no. Okay, not working. Now I'm thinking, well, maybe that wrapped would have helped. And maybe. It's impossible to know. But I know that this is sad that I can't make anything over here. What's more likely to get me a concentration of colors to get a, a special? Taking this green here, taking this blue here. I only have one other green on the board if I do this. Hmm. It's very sad. Those time bombs getting lower and lower. All right. Okay, got a stripe. Can't use it where I need it. Can't bring it down. Oh, finally I'm able to get back down here again. And still not enough time. Which, you know, is why this is considered a nightmarishly hard level. But at least we saw another perspective on this board. And I'm going to keep going. Uh, I'm going to have the microphone turned off, but I'll bring it back on when I have something important to share. That could be a new strategy, a glitch, a pitfall that we need to avoid, and hopefully it'll be a win eventually. See you in just a bit.
Okay, so this is another one where we're close-ish. Still a lot of work to do, but this is the biggest problem, right? And if we can just eradicate this, things will be better. But how do we do that? I don't have enough green down here. So what I'm going to do is use this stripe because it's going to be coming along here. And I've got quite a bit of blue to help with that process. So I need to protect that as much as possible. I like this move. And then there we go. We take this out. So we got rid of a lot of jelly and we got rid of the biggest threat on the board. Still some work to do. So I want to focus where I've got the thickest stuff, the most problematic, dangerous area. That's this quadrant. If I can make things happen in this quadrant, it can change the outcome. I, I also have a double thick there. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this, which hits this side and changes things. I'd like to focus where there's double thick stuff down here. I don't know that I can do that, but if I do this, that puts a green over here and then a blue and a green. If I do this, we also bring down green and blue, and I think, yeah, we're better equipped to do this. Now I could make this stripe, I could take this out so I'm almost done with this quadrant. You know, I don't have anything in this quadrant to remove. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to focus on where I have the biggest issues on the board. I need to get an average of two of these cleared every turn. Gosh, I wish I had some fish to help me. Mm. Also, you know, I have a lot of purple down here. What if I do this? It would bring this down and it would probably put a purple here and then here. I think I'm going to try that and see what happens. There we go. I could do this. I could do this. I have another shot at a stripe when this comes around. This would be elevated and it would make a lot of difference on the board. I know I just set this up. I'm going for this. <gasps> striped wrapped combo. Now I do love a wrapped wrapped combo, but I don't think I could get that to combo. I think this has a better chance of it. I, I want to take this first. I, I'm going to take this first. I'm going to set it up. I risked this, but I looked and didn't see that the board was going to create any problems. So this quadrant clear, this quadrant clear, and these two quadrants, three jelly left, and I can't reach all of them with one move. I could reach all of them with two. I could do this first and then do this and take out these. Um, and I can't. So then I have the options of using a lolly hammer and taking this out or a switch hand and moving this up and then, you know, making this move or just continuing to try. I'm going to leave this as instructive because it's still within the first 10 tries. I think this is my sixth try and I'm getting really close. I keep getting closer and closer each run, but I'm going to leave this instructive as instructive just in case my actual win ends up relying almost totally upon luck. That happens sometimes, and I think this was a good combination of luck and strategy. All right, I'll be back again very soon.
Okay, this is a good setup. So let's hope we get enough cascading. I think we got it. There we go. All right, but I had to wait for a good setup. That took a while. It was between 20 and 25 tries because even though I was getting good at it, I still had some barriers to overcome. That's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.